This is Sunday, May 15th, and day eight of our adventure. We left the cruise ship in Whittier and traveled by cruise train from there to Anchorage, Alaska. We were transported via bus from the train to their downtown hospitality center. We ate lunch downtown and there was a visitor center and a few things to do there. But before long, we were in our room at the Westmark Hotel and our luggage had arrived before us. And uh, so it was a quiet day today. My last walk out on what I call the pizza deck, although it's not the pizza deck, it's the uh, little, little bar and something cool. Sea wave, sea view pool. We are in Whittier and we're getting off the ship today. Flying your flag. And look over here. That's our train, I believe. We're on the train, about to leave. <laughs> this is Monday, May 16th, and day 9 of our adventure. We travel from Anchorage, Alaska, up to their McKinley Chalet Resort, which I think is owned by Holland America. And we do that on the Holland America's McKinley Explorer. We actually had lunch on the train. The dining area was on the lower deck of the car and the glass dome viewing area was on the top of the car. It was, it was a nice ride. We got a glimpse of Denali from the train today and saw some beautiful scenery and lots of snow. The day ends at Holland America's resort just outside Denali Park. We're riding the McKinley Explorer from Anchorage to Denali where we will spend two nights in Denali. Hopefully we have a little more space on these cars. It's an overheight car, it says right there, 18 feet, one inch. The big dome on top, so hopefully we have some space to move around. An all day train trip, but pretty nice train though. Nice number of cars. The dining area is below us. And Denali sounds like a girl's name, and you know she's big, bad, beautiful. Lunch on the train. $17 BLT. $17 BLT. Looks like the river ice is breaking up. Wow, that's pretty thick too. That's three, four feet, six feet. Ice and snow. I don't know. Don't know what I'm talking about. A moment ago, right over in there, <laughs> we saw a big black bear. <laughs> Everyone yelling, bear, bear, bear. We've seen several mooses or moose I don't know what the plural of moose is. Oh, there's houses over there. It was looking colder, too. Oh, it's a long way down there. Ugh. Oh, uh, my dear. It's a long now, way down there. On this oh, side, shit. You might be able to see the train car that fell down last time I told oh. everybody. Oh. 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 It's just a barrel of laughs. Wow. I don't want to look down because you know what my. Oh, no. Wow. What? <laughs> wow. Nice. We have arrived at the Denali Park Depot after eight and a half hours. <laughs> Kenley Explorer, Denali Park Depot. There's my woman. I am here. You're trying to stay out of the way. Oh, that was fun, but it got a little bit long. And she said that the snow that we have here is more than the normal amount. 
So we made it to our chalet or our lodge or whatever it's called. Anyway, it's nice, high ceilings, uh, the bathroom's nice, everything's kind of rustic. Motel art. I'm assuming that's Denali or not McKinley. And like I said, rustic furniture. And we walk out over here and look out our window. It looks like a little snow, a little snow. <laughs> or a little mist or fog or yeah. something up on the mountaintop. Oh, we have our own sitting Thank area. You. Not that we'll go out there and sit, but... Okay. Time to go find something to eat. And Lori said I had to show this. The moose heads to hang your coat on. That is a nice little addition. And a, and a barometer. And it talks about at this location, summer solstice, they have 20 hours and 25 minutes of sunlight. And then winter solstice, they only have 4 hours and 37 minutes of sunlight. 91 inches of average annual snowfall. We're 1,400 feet. We're only 193 miles from the Arctic Circle. Highest temperature ever, temperature ever recorded, 91 degrees. The lowest, negative 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Brr. Hey. Complete total chaos tonight at the Chalet Resort. They don't have enough restaurants to feed everyone. A lot of places are not open. And it's the first time we've been disappointed on our trip. It's just, it's just, compared to the ship, it's complete chaos. <laughs> So we were a little disappointed when we first got here because there's not enough places for everyone to eat. And that may be because of COVID and staffing. Uh, so the last two or three hours have been a little bit rough and everyone that I've talked to have said the same thing, that if you came up on the ship, everything was perfect, well-coordinated, organized. And even today, uh, everything's well-organized from the train at Anchorage to the motel or the hotel and and then the hotel to get on the bus this morning to get to the train and the train and then the bus from the train to get here to the the lodge you know everything was pretty well organized but then we got here and it just seemed like i don't know like chaos uh, we got here um, we wanted to go eat no reservations available till almost nine o'clock no place to go and just get a beer uh, we finally found a pizza place that we went to and uh, got about to eat but uh, everyone I've talked to just says that uh, the land portion is a little bit chaotic uh, maybe it'll be better tomorrow um, definitely a good atmosphere here with these outdoor fire pits and the snow and the beautiful background but we'll see how it goes tomorrow today is Tuesday May 17th and day 10 of our adventure we ride a National Park Service bus from the chalet resort area into the Nally National Park and Reserve. And yay for us, we become one of the 30 percentile club. Apparently only about 30% of the visitors that go to Denali actually see the, the mountain of Denali because of clouds and, and weather. So yay, we're part of a club. Again, we saw lots of beautiful scenery, saw some moose, and ended the day again back at the Denali Resort and had dinner there. Okay, I think today's Tuesday. We're in Denali. No, we're near Denali. We're in Holland America's Lodge Resort area. It's a little after five o'clock and there's sunlight on the mountaintops. 28 degrees. And Lori says it's 28 degrees and we have an excursion at 6 a.m. in the morning and she has no coffee. I don't know how it's going to go. Okay, I'm told Denali is... Right in there, I think. It's uh, one that's kind of far away, but it's completely covered in snow, so I think I've got it. And I guess it's only visible about one out of every three days or so. Look at the piles of snow <laughs> over there. <laughs> this is funny. A little bit of snow here.
Oh, it's cold out here. I'm just walking back to the bus. They had snow here yesterday. The road was closed yesterday till noon. Had several inches of snow. And apparently this amount of snow is unusual in May. And they get snow every month of the year somewhere in the park. Denali again, right there. Oh, where? A parking area. Well, I'm gonna climb a snowbank. If I know which mountain to look at, I'm gonna climb a snowbank. All right, I think that's Denali right over there. Really not sure, but I think that's pretty close to being it. Wow. We got a moose. Howdy, howdy. Laying there in the sun. Five o'clock, we're headed up to the, I don't know what the name of the place is, a major restaurant here where everyone goes to, to eat and spend $200 on a on golden crown, on a golden <laughs> crown meal, but. Oh, come on. We expected that when we came here. It was better than golden crown. <laughs> oh, one what one view. And so now we're going to Denali Square for dining, maybe some shopping if I can't hold her back. Entertainment? Entertainment is actually just watching other people. That is a <laughs> hoot. I'm sure that we put on quite a show too. I bet we've gotten a hundred comments on our hats. People oh, love probably. our hats. Love our hats and that we are identifiable. Yeah, yeah. From location to location. Hat number one, hat number two. <laughs> There's only one. There's only one hat. People are asking, where's hat number two? We can't leave. The bus can't leave until hat number, number two, two gets on board. <laughs> so we just we just had dinner and now we're enjoying this outdoor, I don't know what you would call it. Fire pit. Fire pit. Propane powered fire pit with snowy mountains in the background and big piles of snow that they haven't cleared around the square here. <laughs> and your little Christmas tree to your right, a little fur of some sort. Our next video will cover the final day traveling by motor coach from the Denali Resort to Fairbanks. And we took a river cruise and I didn't expect much from it, but it actually was a lot of fun. There was a demonstration of dog sleds pulling an ATV. And just overall, it was, it was a pretty pleasant experience. We will end the video with some of our reflections on the trip, the things that we liked, things that we didn't like, uh, things that might help you if you're planning a trip like this. But overall, we were very happy with the trip. So see you in the next video.